Hello guys, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, another amazing library that I really want to talk about, which is called as Chainlet. It is an open source Python package, which actually helps you to quickly create LLM apps, you know, so large language models. Obviously, we have discussed till now we're related to open AI, LLM models, right? And we have also discussed about Langchain. I've also shown you a couple of examples. But yes, uh, let's discuss about this amazing library, which is called as Chainlet over here. You can basically see it. It is an open source Python PyCast that makes it incredible fast to build and share LLM apps, right? So uh, I'll just show you this because see, in the end of the day, you are specifically using an open AI API itself. But this kind of packages are making it much, uh, pretty much easier for you to actually use the LLM models and even create your own. Right. And again, there is a big number of documentation for this. Uh, there are amazing uh, callback functions, decorators. Uh, you'll be able to see like uh, there'll be events like on message, on chat start. You'll be able to really customize your entire application in a very easy manner. But again, uh, this is just an introduction video to begin with, you know. Um, I am definitely planning to create an entire playlist on OpenAI, uh, Langchain and Chainlet. It will be a detailed one. Just wait for some days. You know, I'm planning for that. First of all, I will complete the series of recording. Then I'll start uploading it. It will be pretty much amazing for you all. Right. But again, try to use this Chainlet. I really liked it uh, with respect to the implementation. Let me show you a couple of examples over here. So here you can basically see uh, everything is same. You can actually use Langchain. You can actually use OpenAI. You can use prompt template. You can use LLM chain. This is what we specifically use in OpenAI or we specifically use in Langchain also, right? Along with this, we'll import Chainlet as CL. But before that, always make sure that you install this Chainlet, right? In order to install it, all you have to do is that, let's see, I'm opening my terminal over here. Because I'll, I'll show you a couple of examples. It's quite amazing couple of examples that we are trying to see over here. So if you really want to install it, all you have to do is that just go ahead and write pip install chainlet, right? And <clears throat> once you do this, automatically the installation will basically happen. And once you're able to install this, at the end of the day, you just have to use this, okay? Now chainlet has a lot of events, okay? So over here, what we are specifically doing, I'll just explain you the code. And this kind of code I have already written in the previous tutorials related to OpenAI and Langchain. So here I'm importing Chainlet. Along with this, I'm using this OpenAI key, which you can probably get it from the uh, OpenAI website itself. And then I'm setting up the environment of the OpenAI API key to OpenAI key. Now, this is my question that I'm actually creating. It is was in a very simple way, question is equal to question. And the answer, let things step by step, it will probably first of all provide the response like this, and then it will give you the answer, okay? And here you will be able to see, this is nothing but, this is the decorator that we are specifically using, cl.langchain factory. Now this Langchain factory, if you probably see in the documentation over here, so if you see in Langchain, here in Langchain post process, see over here Langchain factory is there, plug and play decorator for the Langchain library. The decorated function should initiate a new Langchain instance. It is already initiating a new Langchain instance. You don't have to probably create a new instance over there. Automatically with the help of this particular decorator, it will do it. One instance per user session is created and cached. The per user instance is called every time a new message is received, right? So as soon as you probably receive a message, then again, you go ahead and write it. Automatically, it will be able to take care of it, you know? So <clears throat> this is what is an example over here. I will show you more examples as such as we go ahead, right? Now, what we are going to do, we are going to just initiate this Langchain factory. Always make sure that this all works in a sync manner. A sync manner basically means even though you are sending a request, some process is continuously happening in the backend and it will be able to send you the response as soon as possible, right? And parallel responses also you can probably get. Over here, I have defined a function factory, but on top of it, this is the super important thing, a decorator, right? Then we are defining the prompt template over here and we are defining the LLM chain over here right in LM chain what I'm giving I'm giving my prompt then I'm initializing open AI and verbose is equal to true this is it okay automatically because of this particular decorator it will be able to give you the right response let me just show you now and uh, in order to execute it uh, the execution like how we specifically use in uh, streamlet library similarly we have to probably use something like this okay let me just show you okay CLS CLS okay Chainlet, see this. Chainlet run this 
pi file so what is my pi file over here so over here you'll be able to see my pi file is nothing but the command for running this particular file see chainlet run and here i will remove this langchain.py instead whatever file name i have over here chainlet.py it will take up that and then you can use minus uh, minus sign and w okay so this is what is the uh, thing that is used the command that is used like how we specifically use streamlet like streamlet run that particular py file similarly over here chainlet run whatever file name is there dot py with w as the uh, additional symbol that is specifically required so once we execute this you'll be able to see that now i have not even used any ui but you will be able to get a kind of ui over here and by default this information from where you are specifically getting if i probably show you i have a readme file over here okay so if i probably show you this this is the readme file and by default it is taking this specific readme file over there okay if i remove it i think it will not show anything as such okay so but by default let that readme file be over here now if i ask any question okay tell me about deep learning one amazing thing is that you get a good ui visibility over here uh there are a lot of inbuilt decorators which actually make it very very easy for you to learn it even to customize this entire application so here you can basically see step by step everything is basically given and this is the response from the llm chain uh, since we have used llm chain now one amazing thing about this is that in lang chain also we can integrate with third party apis google search api and all okay but uh, i tried with chainlet over here and chainlet was able to give us this integration in a very smoother way okay I'll just show you an example why I'm saying this. So let's say this is one example that I've used over here. Here, I'm trying to integrate with tools agents also. Okay. So here you'll be able to see, I'll be importing OpenAI LLM match in to perform any kind of mathematical operations and uh, providing the response with respect to that, that this library is used. Search the SERP API wrapper. This is basically used because uh, for uh, exploring the Google search API. Suppose if I want to integrate my code with the Google search API and probably get the response over there. Let's say if I'm first of all asking the OpenAI, if the OpenAI does not have any response, then it will send this response to the Google search API, you know, so that I will be able to get the answer from there. Okay, and as you know, uh, if I consider with respect to chat GPT, it is only trained in 2011. Along with this in Langchain, you also have agents, okay? So you have like initialization agent and you can specifically use this LLM match chain in the form of tool also to validate something. And then in Langchain, you also have chat open, a a uh, open AI. All these things are there along with this, what I'm doing, my search API and open key API is present in this constant.py file. I'll be using this. On top of it, I'll be using Chainlet. Now you, here you can basically see, I'm using all these libraries like Langchain, Langchain agents, chatbot, chat models, everything is same. Whatever I've shown you with respect to the Langchain itself. But on top of it, if I use this Chainlet, now what is the power it will be showing you, right? So I'm using a OS dot environment of API, API key and SERP API underscore key. Now this key also you can basically create. It is completely for free. Just go and search for SERP API underscore key. It will tell you to make an account over there. It will create a Google search API key itself. Okay. And that key is basically required. And already a wrapper is created so that it can basically use this API and search for anything in the internet. Now the search tool has no async implementation. We fall back to sync. Okay. So here you will be able to see I'll be using cl dot langchain factory similarly over here now first is my chat open api ai okay so if there is a response with respect to this why i'm using this i'll let you know then second open ai obviously you know how to use this open ai we just need to initialize with temperature over here and this is basically for my search api wrapper right now see this amazing thing okay i will be using this llm model llm model this this llm model for initializing my llm match chain so LLM match and dot from underscore LLM. If you probably see this particular code, all this is given in the documentation, guys. But I just want to show you the power over here. LLM is equal to LLM, verbose is equal to true, right? So this becomes my um, tool to validate any mathematical things that I'm probably asking this chatbot, okay? Now, all these tools, I will try to initialize it. See, one tool that I'm using is I'm given the name as search and using the search wrapper dot run. That basically means whatever Google search I'll be doing, I will probably be doing from here. Okay. And the fallback is quite amazing guys. See, let's consider that my LLM one has not given any response. Okay. Or it has given that it does not know any kind of response. So what will happen? This will fall back to this particular response. Okay. 
and description I have given over here with respect to the current events. Now the next tool that I'm going to initialize is for calculator. Okay. Now if I'm using calculator, I have to use this LLM underscore mat underscore chain dot run so that whenever it tried to provide uh, any calculation with respect to a mathematical formula or anything, this will be responsible. This tool will be responsible. So I've combined two tools over here in the list. And finally, we initialize this agent. Okay. This agent will be responsible in executing all these tools. So first tool is nothing but this specific tools. Both these tools are available over here. LLM one is my open AI and agent that I'm specifically using is something called a chat zero short react description. There are different, different agents. Okay. When I probably create a detailed uh, playlist about all these things, I'm planning to don't worry about anything. This week, I really am going to become very active in providing you OpenAI tutorials, LangChain tutorials. We will deep dive everything and we'll also see chain, chain lit also and multiple examples. Okay. So finally, you will be able to see that instead of using chat zero short uh, react description, there is also another agent. You can also use it. Okay. But uh, most of the task will be done by this. Now let's go and execute this. Now you'll be able to see how amazingly it works. Okay. So I, uh, first of all, let me close this. Okay, the previous project uh, that I was running. Now I'll run <clears throat> M. Now I'll run mrkl.py. Okay, so this is my file name. Now, once I execute this, you will be able to see something quite amazing. So, okay, there is an error. Okay, it is mr. Okay, so I have written mre, <clears throat> just a file name mistake. Okay. Now, once it is executing, you'll be able to see I have my this. Okay. <clears throat> Let's say I will write what is 28 multiplied by 124.5. Okay. Now see this. <clears throat> it will use all the tools that is available over here. See, it is saying using calculator, using LLM chain. Okay. So LLM chain thought I need to use the calculator tool. See that that uh, callback is going to the calculator because obviously LLM chain will not be responsible in calculating things. Uh, there is a math LLM chain that is there. Okay. Uh, over here. Okay. Now let's say, uh, what is the recent, what is the recent current news? <coughs> so let's see. So using search, it has done using search. Okay. View the latest news and break in uh, at CNN.com. So who is giving this particular uh, action is search, right? And as you know, the action is search is nothing but it is basically the Google API search, right? So over here, this is nothing but search dot run. Okay. Um, tell me the recent development in the field of Langchain. Okay. I'm just asking this question because chat GPT will not be able to provide us this specific uh, output. So it is basically now using Google search API, right? I, I just showed, okay, I should not have written in the field of Langchain, but instead something else, okay, in the field of L. See, Langchain is a fast rising LLM application framework created by Harrison Chase that JavaScript developer needs to be aware of, okay? Good. Now, just by using this application, you are able to use each and everything, right? So that is the power, how quickly you are able to create it. And I hope uh, you were able to like this particular tutorial. At the end of the day, we will try to see that how quickly we are able to build LLM application. Don't worry, I will be coming up with a lot of tutorials as I go ahead. So yes, if you like this particular tutorial, please make sure that you hit like, subscribe and share with all your friends. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.